with the latest release from convertkit uh, it's convert fox not convertkit if you are a convert fox user then this video is for you because convert fox has a big announcement for you now with the latest update from convert fox the most awaited update which is the lead forms the pop up forms are now in the beta version so if you have opted in for the beta testing of convert fox forms you will see a small icon of forms in your convert fox account so in this video i'll show you how these forms going to work and what are the points from the point of view of a designer and a digital marketer i think should be added in these forms so first of all let me show you how these forms are working on my website and then i'll show you how you can use these forms in various different options available so if once you are logged in into your convert fox account and if you have opted for the beta testing of these forms you will be seeing a small icon of these forms coming up in your account and here are the few forms that i am working on now to create a new form all you have to do is just click on this new form button so first of all let me show you how this is working on my website so this is an example of a small pop up form which will open up on your web page so let me refresh this page and show you how this is coming up i have created a blank page so there is no content on it and now here is the pop up and there is another test page which i have created and if i refresh that as well and once the page is loaded here is the pop up and i'll tell you why this pop up is looking in blue color and how you can do that too now one more pop up which i have on my website is the full screen pop up which is on the home page of my website so let me refresh that one as well for you and once the page is fully loaded here is the pop up it's covering the whole screen of the it's covering the full screen of the web page so you can click on the cross button right in the corner maybe you cannot see that in my screen recording area <laughs> so once you are in your form section all you have to do is click on new form and with that you will get an option to select the type of form you want to create whether it's a light box a hello bar on the top of the page a small bumper on the bottom right corner a small notification on the top or the full page takeover which i have just shown you on my home page and also a welcome mat so all you have to do is just give it a name and then click on next and on the next screen you will see the preview of the form which you have selected and on the left hand side there are the customization option so instead of this subscribe button you can add any text and instead of this content in the pop up area you can enter your own content after that the text on the subscribe button you can also change that this will not reflect immediately here so it might so this might be something they are working on and here is the redirect url option so once anyone 
So if any user subscribe through this form and once that is done, it will redirect to a certain page. So you can enter that URL here and you can also show a thank you message to the subscriber of this pop-up form. And by default, all pop-ups will have one single field, which is email. And you can add your required field like name, phone number or username or role. So maybe let's select name and just give it name itself. And if it is required or optional, and once that is done and click on add, it will add a, another field in the pop-up area. And once that is done, just click on next. And on this screen, you have to select how this pop-up will appear on any page or any device. So this is almost the same how the chat trigger work. So you can select if the pop-up should appear after certain number of seconds. So maybe you can select three or five. Or if you want this pop-up to open up on very specific pages only. So you can select the visitor browsing specific page. For the one which is opening on the home page, I have selected it as is the home page. And the one which is open and the one which are opening on the other two specific test pages, I have selected the option which says exactly matches and here I enter the URL of my page. Now make sure you do not enter any HTTP or WW before that because it didn't work for me. So you can try that if that works for you. And once that is done, just click on next. And this is the email template which will be sent to the subscriber once they hit on subscribe. So you can enter your email, maybe if you have a template, so you can select that. And you can also send a test mail. And once you click on save and set it live, it will be live on that certain page or any configuration which you have set. So I'll go back to my forms because I already, because I already have a form set on that page. So this is certainly a big update from Convert Fox team and these pop-up modules are very much needed and awaited from all the users. And I've been waiting for this from very beginning when I purchased my subscription. So with that, let me list down some points which I think should be added in these opt-in forms. And these are all from the point of view of a designer or a digital marketer. And this is my personal opinion. So maybe they are already working on it or maybe this is not technically possible. So these are certain points which I think should be there. So let's look at them one by one. So the number one point is certainly the design of these forms. I mean, it looks like you forgot to send it to your designer. It's completely understandable that they have just released this form and there is a lot of work need to be done and I'm sure they must be working on it. But right now they look really flat. I mean, there is no option of designing. All you can do is if you know HTML, you can just select your form and edit them via HTML. Let me show you what I have done. So here is my blue color. I mean, so here is my form, which looks a little weird in this blue color because I was just testing. So let me just go ahead and click on edit. And as you can see, instead of the normal heading, I have selected my text. And in the code view, I have added an image on top of my heading. And above that, I have selected the HTML ID and then gave it a background color. So that is actually responsible for this blue color and the logo on the top. But certainly there is some design input to be added in these forms because for a normal user, it is not possible to customize it. Now the next point is also related to the designing and editing. For example, if I am on this form and I just want to change the heading of this form or the name of this form, all I have to do is just go to this form name and just type in my new text here. And that's it. It should be the only thing I need to do. But right now, I have to go through all the process again. Click on Next.
then select the pop up conditions and then again select the email template and all not select but need to go through these pages instead of that what i mean is if i am editing on a certain page there should be a button which says save and exit so that i can just do my editing on that certain page and just get out of this form right there so i do not have to do all the three four stages again and again now the next point is related to the form type so they have already added the most popular ones but i think the one is missing is the naked form or the clear form which is actually a static form or you can say the inline form which allow us to integrate that in any part of the website content so it will not be a pop up it is actually a part of content which can be added anywhere on the website maybe in the main body or maybe in the footer of the website so i think that type of form is missing now the next point is actually related to those clear forms itself which is ability to add these forms via short codes now convert fox know that there is a big section of users who are using wordpress as their website platform so that's why we have a convert fox plugin as well so why not have a clear form which can be added anywhere on the website and by just adding the short code anywhere on the website or widget or maybe in the body of the website all you have to do is just create your inline or clear form and then get the short code of that form and add it anywhere on your website i think that will be a major thing to use these opt in forms for now the next point is this thank you message option which i think is a little short on the number of characters allowed here so if i type in thank you for opting in now check your mail so i have no option to write a complete sentence so these are the only number of characters i have so i think this thank you message should be extended in the number of characters so that we can write at least one complete sentence after that on the same page we have an option which says adding fields so by default we have the email id as a default field and if you need to add another field you have to select it from here which is very user friendly and but the problem is once a new field is added it goes below the email field there is no option to rearrange it up and down unless you actually use the html code of this form so i think there should be an option here itself where we can arrange these fields up and down because right now email address on the top and name at the bottom looks a little weird and of course i really wish if we could change the color of this button as per the website theme now the last thing which i wish they could add in these pop ups is that where they have added this branding link if they could convert this link to an affiliate link that will be a great thing for the affiliate marketers so i really wish if they could add this as a affiliate link so so with that i think these are the point that should be added or considered in this module or these opt in forms and i'm sure convert fox team is working really hard on this because this is just the beta release so let's see what comes next and if you are not in the beta list so don't worry they will be releasing the forms to every user very soon so this is how these forms going to work and so what i have done is i have created the feedback topics in the feedback section of convert fox so if you agree with these points you can go to the feedback section of convert fox and vote for these points and the more vote they will get sooner will be added to the convert fox so please go ahead and check the links in the description below where you can go to the convert fox feedback site and upvote the points which i have mentioned if you want that to be added in convert fox so that the convert fox team can work on priority on these points so that's it for now if you wish to see more about convert fox so subscribe to this channel because more videos are coming up and do let me know in the comments below what you think about these opt in forms from convert fox and how you going to use that on your website